Good morning. We extend a warm welcome to all those in attendance and those watching virtually. Today, we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. Please take a moment to silence all cell phones so they do not disturb this morning's Mass. Contribution envelopes have been mailed to your home, so please be on the lookout for them. The St. Thomas the Apostle School HSA will be selling mega 50-50 tickets after Mass today. The ticket will be drawn at the Tricky Tray on April 25th. Last year's winner took home over $10,000. The winner does not need to be present at the Tricky Tray. Please pick up your tickets after Mass today. Let us say together the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, happy Easter. We know the resurrection of Jesus gave strength to the believers and help them to come overcome the difficulties, have given the courage to overcome the difficulties. The Sunday after, Easter Sunday, we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. We know all the revelations given to Maria Faustina, especially that reveal to her, tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and shelter for all the souls, especially for the poor sinners. On that day, the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls and approach the font of my mercy. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created which will sprinkle on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present your people's prayers. And for us who call, recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption graciously bless this water. For you created water to make fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through the water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. 
through what the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you are to enter upon with the human race and last of all through water which christ made holy in the jordan you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of the regeneration therefore may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at easter have received their baptism through christ our lord Amen. remain standing as i sprinkle the holy water Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was with one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, 
we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples replied and rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to them, then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it in on my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, happy Easter. We come on this beautiful day, on this Divine Mercy Sunday, as we recall St. Augustine reminding us that mercy is heartfelt sympathy for another's distress, impelling us to have charity for the other. And we see in the life of the early Christians in that first reading, the community of believers was of one mind and one heart. And they had everything in common. 
They were filled with love, they were filled with awe, and they were witnesses to the wonderful signs, dedicating themselves to the good of others, and they were selfless and generous. This is what the Apostle St. Paul, St. Thomas is looking for when he puts his hand in his side, which stirs his heart to help others encounter Jesus. In his encyclical, Joy of the Gospel, Pope Francis tells us, the joy of the Gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who are encountering Christ. We can t talk about the mercy of God, but if we want to help those in need experience what we are trying to help them understand, we have to do it in a very concrete, possible way. The need to, again, encounter God through the love and charity of others. The annual Bishop's Appeal makes it possible for the Diocese of Methuchen to offer many ministries that enables individuals to experience that love and mercy of God in a concrete way. By now, all of you probably have received a letter from Bishop Cecchio announcing the 2024 Bishop's Annual Appeal. Stay with us, Lord. Renew our hearts and send us in mission. At this time, we'll take a look at the video now of the 2024 Bishop's Annual Appeal.
Amen. So as you know, Catholic Charities benefits from our contributions from the Bishop's Annual Appeal. There was a gentleman who contacted Catholic Charities through the online inquiry website, and he and his family were homeless because of the toxic mold that was in his house for months. They lost their apartment and all the continents because of that mold, and they moved then to Florida to stay with family. And then it didn't work out, so they came back here to New Jersey. And his credit rating was ruined because uh, they spent so much uh, work on the care of their children. And also, the wife became hospitalized because of the sickness from the mold. And the main obstacle was finding a landlord that would not only uh, help them and re require good credit rating. Both the husband and wife were now working and had moved from one family member to another to avoid homelessness. And they even spent one night in their car and Ch Catholic Charities knew of a real estate agency just in this area to help them. And thank God they were able to offer them an apartment. Catholic Charities Office of Parish Social Ministries was able to provide $4,312 for them. And our parish here at St. Thomas the Apostle Parish promptly responded with a generosity of a donation of $3,000 from the Monsignor Richard Beal grant that helped them purchase money furniture and mattresses for the couple and their four children. This all happened just this past December, which made the family think that it was a miracle coming from God and they really wanted to have a home to live in for Christmas. Next week we will have the uh, Bishop's annual in pew weekend throughout all of the parishes in the Diocese of Metuchen. And there are envelopes right now in your pew if you have not received the letter from our bishop. As you know, our goal is to reach 100%, and we have already received the generosity of $56,205. Our goal for the parish, though, is $88,000. And I know on behalf of Father Jay, our pastor, he asks every family member to participate. And we, as St. Thomas the Apostle Church, Thank each and every one of you to continue to be Christian witnesses, stewards, called to share blessings that we have received. Please take home a Bishop's Annual Appeal, the envelope in the pew if you have not received it. And we, again, thank you for providing hope and healing and hopefully helping individuals come to know and feel the presence of God through our efforts. Thank you, and may God bless you all. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men, for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered and died buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. My dear brothers and sisters, let, let us offer all our prayers to our risen Christ. Our, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, recalling today the gift of forgiveness that Jesus gave us on that first Easter with the breath of the Holy Spirit, that all may come to this fountain of mercy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the first followers of Jesus, the rich may bring their surplus to be distributed according to the needs of those who have nothing. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our diocesan church, that our people will show their support for its services, programs, and ministries by participating in the bishop's annual appeal. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our faithful departed ones, that Jesus, who came through water and blood of his loving sacrifice on their behalf, may bring them rejoicing into heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray at this Mass for the blanket, prayer blanket recipients. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we thank you for hearing our prayers so that we are able to sing of your great love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For our good and good of all his church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, we may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of the light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. all together say the prayer which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace on our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. But I say the word, my soul shall be healed. Prayer for all those who are in the virtual mass. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
All those who are celebrating the birthdays in this month, please stand. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the praise of your sons and daughters who recall the day of their birth and rejoice in your gift of life and love, family and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years of all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday. We have an announcement that our school, St. Thomas School, is selling mega 50 50. Um, and they're selling now after the Mass. So last year, winner took home over $10,000. So when the lottery is taking, you don't need to be there, but still you can buy the lottery. And once you, if you win, you will get a phone call. <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> Grand we pray, Almighty God that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, who by the resurrection of his only Son was pleased to confer on you the gifts of redemption and of adoption given you, gladness by his blessing. Amen. May ye, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to the eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.